100 strong, 100 strong. What's that word, family? Hey, man, check this out. So, folks, not even a week after Lil Dirk had his birthday bash in Chicago, where he paid homage to fallen Chicago rappers, including his ops, and that surprised a lot of people. He paid homage to FBG Duck, Lil Jojo, FBG Cash, and a lot of other rappers who are no longer with us. An indictment came down on members of his OTF crew for the shooting of Quando Rondo's homie. Shots fired, a fight taken to the streets and this chaotic scene, the ending of a shooting that started in Los Angeles, California. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. It all started at this mobile gas station at 5.30 Friday evening. LAPD says witnesses heard multiple gunshots, then watched a couple cars zoom off. Three people in one car shot at this black Cadillac Escalade. It's unclear if those inside shot back. But the thing about this situation is Quando Rondo wasn't the one that was shot. It was his friend that was shot, Lil Pub, right? It was a lot of rumors going around the internet saying that he ran off on the plug, and that's the reason why he got killed, and he was the actual target, not Quando Rondo. Well, according to this indictment, Quando Rondo was the actual target. Now, somebody talking. We all know that five members of Old Block was arrested for the murder of FBG Duck, and they were called the Old Block Sloppy Five. Now, this could be the OTF Sloppy Four. And it was one more thing that stood out. It was when Brick Baby, an OTF affiliate at the time, was asked a question about Lil Dirk getting get back. It's Sloth of Honor. Right? Yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh, yeah, because of. Wait, no, wait, no, no. Like, they who died? Say you can't say that no more. Oh, because of FBG Cash? Oh, who? Nah, cause Lil Pop. Damn, they can't say that no more. They can't say they didn't slap for Vaughn. But was that self snitching or was that just a little bit of snitching snitching? Because I don't get it. Why would Brick Baby get up on a podcast and say they can't say that no more because of Lil Pop? It don't make sense to me, man. It's almost like he's telling on that particular interview. He's insinuating that you can't say Lil Dirk ain't sly for King Von. Now, let me get into the story and the actual facts of what's going on right now, ladies and gentlemen. I said four, guys. I said four, but it's five. It says five in Chicago accused in L.A. Murder for hire, right? So that means a lot right there. Murder for hire. Who has enough money to pay for plane tickets, rental cars, and all of that type of stuff? I'm going to read this article, and it's going to let us know who had the money for the plane tickets and rental cars. All right. Um, murder for hire shooting to avenge rapper King Von's slain. Five people in Chicago have been hit with federal charges in California, alleging they were contracted to kill rapper Quando Rondo in Los Angeles due to his suspected involvement in the 2020 slain of King Von. Charged in the indictment, which was unsealed Thursday, which is today, in U.S. District Court in Los Angeles are Kavon London Grant, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, and Asa Houston. The charges include conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire involving a death and use of a machine gun in a violent crime resulting in death. The most serious charges carry the death penalty. The indictment alleges that all five have ties to Only the Family, also known as OTF, a hip-hop collective founded by Southside rapper Lil Dirk, a mentor of King Von. The flights and rental cars were paid for with credit cards linked to OTF, according to prosecutors. Two of those charged 
are Chicago street gang members, according to authorities. All five were arrested Thursday in the Chicago area and appeared at the Dirksen U.S. courthouse in the afternoon. U.S. Magistrate Judge Jeffrey Gilbert ordered the defendants held in custody pending further proceedings and to shift the case to Los Angeles. What a crime happened there, ladies and gentlemen. The charges mark the latest fallout from the high-profile killing of King Von, 26, whose real name was Davon Bennett, in a fight outside an Atlanta hookah lounge on November 6, 2020. The indictment alleges that after King Von's slain, an unnamed co-conspirator who is part of OTF offered money and lucrative music opportunities to anyone who would kill Quando Rondo, a Georgia-based rapper whose real name is Taekwane Terrell Bowman, whatever, however you pronounce that shit. Bowman and his sister and his cousin were riding in Bowman's black Cadillac Escalade near a gas station in West Hollywood in August of 2022 when gunmen opened fire, according to the charges. And it just goes on and on. All right, so we thought that Lil Dirk was changing his life, becoming Muslim. He just recently had a prayer on Instagram, and he was given the keys to two Chicago area suburbs. So we thought Lil Dirk was going to escape something. But Mama Duck, man, Mama Duck, she knew something. So Mama Duck filed a lawsuit against Lil Dirk a couple of weeks ago. And Adam 22 bitch ass got up there saying, oh, it, it won't work. So we supposed to just die without getting paid. I don't get it, man. You know what I'm saying? So now this right here, it shows that. Lil Dirk is either the Teflon done if he don't get charged with nothing or it will be the fall of Lil Dirk. Now, these guys right here, man, um, they are real close to OTF, real close to Lil Dirk. And what I have to say about this is what goes up must come down, especially when you're not making the right decisions. That's why I call Chief Keith the smartest rapper from Chicago in a drill culture. He got the hell up out of that. You ain't been hearing nothing about Keith. And I hope Keith ain't got nothing to do with this. But he got the hell up out of that. You ain't been hearing nothing about Keith. Keith been chilling, relaxing, minding his own business, man, while Lil Dirk was still doing street activities, walking around, like I said, like the Teflon done. And he actually had me fooled, man. I thought he was with the push and peace. But now these, these indictments and everything that's going on, it shows me what was actually going on. He was trying to change his image just for the sake of, looking good in the media now will they indict little dirk after this situation i'm pretty sure he ain't got too many more chances i think this might be the indictment that takes down otf but it won't take down old block and it'll just take down otf god gave him a chance that he don't give hardly nobody i mean it's a lot of rappers but a lot of rappers ain't hit makers like Lil Durk. A lot of rappers ain't millionaires like Lil Durk. So Lil Durk, if you messed up your chance, say your prayers. It's time to kiss your ass goodbye. But I'm going to say this in closing. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this particular situation in the comment section, man. The indictment then, then came down five people. I thought it was four, but it was five. Five people, man. They got unnamed people in this indictment. So those people could be giving away more information so they won't get the death penalty. And do you think, Little Dirk, if he found guilty of this or if he get tied in or connected to this, do you think Little Dirk could be facing a death penalty? Hit me back later. I'll be back with more news and commentary. Peace. Fresh, I'm out of brush, yeah, fresh, fresh, I'm out of brush.